But I want to ask you about TikTok. We've just uh, today learned that TikTok is going to be banned by the federal government on government devices. Uh, in the US, you already have that. You already have a No TikTok on Government Devices Act. But now they're going a step further with the Restrict Act, which is worrying a lot of commentators. Uh, are they right to be worried, Josh? So I think they are. The Restrict Act, which is the ban TikTok bill or the ban TikTok across America bill that is getting the most attention and the most commentary, does have very serious glaring flaws. There was this one paragraph in particular that a friend of mine named Greg Price tweeted out. His tweet went totally viral. He was just shining a spotlight on this one provision where the word any, A-N-Y, was used like 10 times. So any person using any medium of communication in any way whatsoever at any time of day, blah, 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 you know, can basically be an excuse for the government to get between you and your device. So that is, I think, according to the headline we just saw, that is very similar to the Patriot Act. You might even argue it's kind of the Patriot Act and steroids. Very, very controversial mm -hmm. and not something that I would support, to put it mildly. But it is worth pointing out that there are competing and alternative anti-TikTok legislation out in the United States right now. There's at least one from Senator Marco Rubio from here in Florida. There's a there's another one from Senator Josh Hawley of Missouri. And at least the Rubio and the Hawley bills, based on what I've seen, are a much cleaner, more straightforward, just ban TikTok bill without a lot of this other Patriot Act-esque baggage attached to it. Now, if I were a legislator, I would personally vote for a much simpler, cleaner version like that. I, I do subscribe to the belief that TikTok is a massive, massive problem. It seems to me that no matter what you put on that would no matter what you put on TikTok could easily get kind of, you know, vacuumed up by the Chinese Communist Party. And that strikes me as the kind of thing that is a compelling national security risk and should be severely curtailed or outright banned. But this Restrict Act, which is getting all the attention, is so poorly drafted, is so poorly written that it almost kind of raises the question as to whether it was a poison pill, so to speak, that someone tried to intentionally sink it. But again, fortunately, there are some saner, more rational alternative bills that I hope do ultimately pass muster. Let's hope so.